To drive through Forsyth, stick around for this update. We actually told you about some of the updates coming to Montpelier. The city started a construction a couple of months ago. However, one resident in the area says a new problem popped up since they started in August. Fariha Brar found out how's the problem driving her crazy. It just, it'll keep you up late. If you're in Forsyth, brace yourself before you start driving on Montpelier. And if you hit it hard enough, does undercar damage or hubcaps. Not only has Karen Gray heard it all, now she's seen it all too. I heard the noise night before last. I got up yesterday morning to take kids to school and it was there. At her grandkids house on Montpelier. It sounds like somebody's crashing. Gray's grumbling about the gravel and the pothole it's supposed to fill. I mean, that does damage to cars, tires especially, and they're not cheap to get fixed. For four years, she's loved visiting her daughter's home, but now she's hitting a bump in the road. I don't know if they're widening it for the school or what they're getting ready to do, but I know they're doing some construction down through here. In July, Forsyth announced it's using over $2 million from its SPLOSS funds to resurface, widen, and add better drainage to one mile of Montpelier. I think they went under and redone some wire and cable, maybe. They started the project in August. Around the same time, this pothole appeared. The houses sit close to the road, so you can hear noise. Some people know that it's there and they slow down, but some people don't know it's there. And it, those that don't know it's there are loud. The trailers that carry stuff, they're noisy. Months later, she can tell the difference between the kinds of vehicles driving by. If they don't have a lot on them, they bounce. Now, getting in and out of the yard isn't much trouble to Gray or her daughter. But I don't go very fast because I'm just starting going out and slowing down coming back. She's more concerned about the people driving by who might not know what they're approaching on Montpelier. I mean, I know they have to come out and work and do their work. It's just the more cars that drive over it, the more the gravel and stuff gets knocked out. It just needs to be filled more often or something a little more permanent. Reporting in Forsyth, Fari Habra, 13 WMAZ News. Fariha, thank you. We reached out to Forsyth's Public Works Department about Gray's concerns. They tell us the dip in the road is not a pothole, but a cut in the road. They say it developed because the utilities company realized water, gas lines, and pipes, as well as power lines, were pinpointed at incorrect locations when they started construction. Director Mike Bachelor tells us they were aware it was going to be an issue. That's why the gravel was used as a temporary solution. He goes on to say they're going to fix the problem by this week with a steel panel.